Angela, this is from Anna... That's either her name or that's where she's from, I don't know. Kalari. I served you at a roadhouse in Nil, and you were the most rude, arrogant person I had ever come across. I think that... I can't remember having sex with her. <laughs> On Talking Footy the other night, Timmy Watson's shirt wasn't tucked in properly and his gut was hanging out. Do you think he got a bit excited watching Temptation Island uh, which was on before him. Now there's his gut. Now, um, that's it there. <laughs> um, which uh, sort of brought us uh, a, a look-alike between uh, Tim Watson and Britney Spears. Do yeah, you think? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at that. This was being plagiarised by the Seven Network and this is what we were going to do ten years ago. Welcome to Animal, Vegetable or Middle. So many things to get through tonight. And to help me speak shit, Bill Brownless. Bill, what got you excited on the weekend? Hi, Sam. Look, it was fantastic the way Essendon would go back and flood the Blues' defensive 50 through the corridor to greatly affect Carlton's kick-in strategy. Gee, that is exciting. And as always, we're joined by the chief football writer for the war cry, Barb Carlson. Barb, what was your name? Cuda. What are you looking forward to tonight? Cuda. And what's your favourite fish? Barracuda. Well, I don't know about you, but I can hardly wait for Barb's famous last question. She's in sparkling form already. A break, and then Collingwood President, Alan McAllister. I can't wait. I can't wait for it. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> I am writing to you, this is Judy in Tasmania. I am writing to you to tell you I recently bought your CD. <laughs> Turn around the other way. Thank you, Ed. I was pleasantly surprised. It's really not that bad. <laughs> they are called peppy songs. Peppy, they are. Yeah, oh, like Pepe Le Pew. actually turned the radio yeah. on in the last 20 years, though, because, I, fair dinkum, not, not many of those songs have been on the radio in the last 20 years. Well, I, I tell think. you what, you pop star, Matthew. Uh, <laughs> you get a couple of your friends, a group of your friends, and put that little number on, and I tell you what, if that doesn't get you excited, nothing will. Might stimulate you. In, I just in, want something that I've actually heard since I've been alive, that's all. <laughs> Speaking of Gary Lyon, here's a budding fruiterer just checking his stock. This was sent into us. Now this is Gary just uh, checking a bit of stock there. Uh, taken when Gary retired, he uh, let himself go down at the fruit market and uh, never got home for three days. So there he is. Uh... The winner is the footy show AFL. <laughs> Their when they announced that the footy show had won the Logie, Eddie just just jumped up and just uh, just gave me a big hug. And uh, actually, last year when when they didn't win it, he gave me a hug as well. So I think, uh, Eddie just likes hugging. Me. It says uh, to the footy show team, congratulations on the Logie. The entire network is extremely proud of you all. We are humble, humble, Ed. <laughs> He's given us a slab of cascade light. <laughs> In the meantime, now it's time for Sam's Mailbag. <laughs> now, Ed, last week in a light-hearted manner... Oh. Welcome back. Uh, Sam, another wonderful year of mailbag. Yes, uh, shows the intellect of the nation, Ed. We're never staggered. We had eight million letters and uh, all of them gems. Now, if you, I, could I just beg your indulgence? Sorry about the top of the bottom there. Now, I just want to do this. This will be a sombre note, but George Clark, who was a uh, great trainer at the Cats for 40, 50 years, 
He's not going to see another footy show, Ed. He's dying. And I'd just personally like to say uh, to him, he'll be watching this in intensive care. They've got a television in there. And Hayden and his wife, Betty, just want to say you've been a great servant of Geelong Football Club, George. And uh, we hope you get some enjoyment out of this. Now, that's a sombre note, but he's a great man. He is. And uh, so we're all dying, Ed, and he's going to do it before us. He but uh, we've got more important things to do, not more important things to do than George, but uh, things at the saying. moment. Well, it, it probably puts in context our next guest as well. Uh, George has been a fantastic servant of of not only football but a wonderful bloke awarded an Order of Australia I think last year as well but uh, it puts in perspective probably what's going through the mind of this young man at the moment